Hey everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Movie Feuds, the show that lets you decide some of the biggest debates in movie history. Let me just pause here for a minute and just say one thing. I understand that you're writing this movie and it's part one of part two, but just because you put part... <laughs> Alright, do that. I, I was going to segue, but I'm not. Let me just pause here for a second. I... <laughs> At the end of the film, Frosty like melts away, and we're treated to like a minute montage of the things that he accomplished during the episode, which include but are not limited to marching with children and leaving children behind. <laughs> Happy birthday. There's gonna be an ice load of puns coming your way. It's tangled versus Frozen this week on Movie Feuds. How about Sally Field? You have to mention Burt Reynolds' old flame as Aunt May. I doubt she's ever gonna be topped in that role. There's no denying the greatness that is Say Fay, short for Sally Field, but I'm gonna let my girl Rosemary Harris do the talking for me. We did a clip on that, uh, Travis? Now would be nice. Speaking of entirely wasted characters, what about Venom? One of the coolest villains in all of Spidey comic history, and he's portrayed by Topher Grace, AKA Mark Ellis from Schmell's No. And he's killed by something that my grandmother does when she's trying to get loud kids out of her yard, banging objects together. Jean Grey, look what they did to my bride. Look what they did to my beautiful Femke. My beautiful Femke. <laughs> Mm -mm. Why does that scene exist? Who put that to paper? Who made that a reality? Hey kid, you wanna come down in the sewer and play with me and get your arm fucking ripped off? Everybody floats down here. <laughs> We're having a good time. Get down here! Sorry, sorry, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. Just come on, come on down, come on down. I want to eat you. Affleck shows up reprising his role as the Dark Knight briefly, which is probably why he turned to alcohol shortly after. Then there's Jared Leto. Sure, Joaquin Phoenix is getting all the praise these days, but I didn't really believe in that performance because his emotions weren't scribbled all over his face. The sequel trilogy brings back all of our fan favorites and uses most of them in the crappiest way possible. Luke, Han, Leia, Yoda, Chewie, R2-D2, C-3PO, Lando, General Akbar, and probably 30 or so others pop up here and there. It's always great to see the classics again, but what a shame that they're never really together on screen or played the same way we remember them. Not having any sort of roadmap certainly didn't help things at all. That's right, after that dramatic introduction, I want to happily announce that Movie Feuds is in fact back. And not only is it back, it's better than ever, baby. We're doing a new episode each and every Friday until I break that promise most likely very quickly on because it's too much to handle. I want to give a special shout out to Patreons and YouTube Join members, and please, I'm begging you, I'm encouraging you to throw me a dollar over there or over here, uh, become a monthly member, and you get access to my show The Cringe, which is exclusive right now to those guys only, because they're awesome. 
and that show is awesome. So it just, it just really marries well together. If you can't, that's fine. I don't believe you, but we're gonna move on. As some of you may or may not know, there hasn't been a new movie feeds on this channel in nine months. That's crazy, Adam. That was kind of your show. That was, that was the whole point of the channel initially. That's right, Ted. But times they were a changing and my YouTube revenue, subscription count, everything was down. It was in the dumps. That's probably because I just wasn't that interesting for a long time. It's also possible that people moved on and had better things to watch. Both are, I, I would say, arguably fair and true. But I had the opportunity to make weekly content for Screen Rant called Real Rivalries, which was essentially Movie Feuds 2.0. I did 31 episodes each and every Friday for eight months. I had over, I don't know, probably around 2 million views across those videos which for a, ch for a channel that has 8.1 million subscribers, that's actually pretty pathetic. But that brings me to the point. Real Rivalries was a blast to make. It's taught me a lot. I got critical feedback on my performance. I got critical feedback on just the flow of the show. And that's all gonna be incorporated back into Movie Feuds 2.0. Things are gonna get much better. It's gonna just be an awesome experience for you, the viewer. And for me, the content creator, I think. The reason Real Rivalries was shut down was because it just wasn't putting up the numbers they wanted, and I wasn't the only one on the chopping block. In fact, I think two or three of their new shows got axed. Uh, basically, anyone with a personality got taken out, and that's because they have a beast over there called Ryan George, who kills it every single week he puts out a new pitch meeting. It's a fantastic show, it's really funny, and I'm so happy for him for all his success. I'm not bitter. <laughs> Seriously though, he's carrying that channel and the obnoxious comments have made it clear that the subscription base over there now really only has any interest in pitch meetings and nothing else. I think the most views I mustered from a real rivalries was 48 to 50,000, which is dreadful considering I can get that on some of my movie feuds. I mean, some of my movie feuds have a million views, so that's really sad for a, a studio like that that has that many subscriptions. I was down on myself about it, thinking this is my fault, they don't like me over there. But when you sit back and think about it, they just didn't watch to begin with. They didn't even click on the video because if it didn't have the bulgy eye thumbnail, it didn't screen pitch meetings and they just didn't care. They just figured it was another another screen rant listicle or another best, you know, best of or something of that nature. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's people that didn't like me that did watch. I know that's true, that, and that's fine. That That's fine, as long as they gave it a shot, right? But I think for the most part, it just wasn't in the, it, it just wasn't gonna work. And I think that's ultimately what Screen Rant realized as well. Now it's not all bad. Of course, they gave me my show back. That was the agreement that we came upon. If I did real rivalries, I couldn't do movie feuds. Now that that's done, I can come back here stronger, faster, sharper than ever. And I also am still contracted to them uh, for the same pay and for the same output, but it's just for a different show, uh, TB, TBD. I'm gonna be talking with them in the next few days to see what that's gonna be like. Uh, they have a few options for me, but unfortunately, I will not be in front of the camera over there. I will just be doing kind of what they do with almost all their other content, which is just clips. I'll be talking over it. I'll still be scripting and writing and doing all of that but they're not gonna see my mug. I would love to know in the comments, if you came to my channel from Screen Rant, let me know, shout out in the comments if you did. I, I would love if there was even a handful of people that made it this way, because ultimately that was the goal, was to move some supporters here to get more people um, watching anything that I made. A lot of you know this, but some of you are so confused. Do you think this is my full-time job? <laughs> That's not true. I am a full-time web developer and designer for a company I've happily worked for for the past five or six years. I've been a web designer and developer for over a decade. I enjoy it, but this is my passion. So I probably will never give up. I'll, I'll be in a wheelchair doing this still. And if I still only have a certain number of people watching, then that's just what it is. But I didn't give up. I kept on going. When I was 16 and my father died and the only gift left behind at Christmas was a video camera from a guy that didn't know anything about, you know, filmography or had any real interest in that sense of the, you know, he loved movies, but he didn't know anything about that. That was the wake up call. That was saying, you know what, Adam? I'm a sports guy. I put you in sports for your first 16 years of life. 
but I know this is you. I know this is what you love to do, so fucking do it. And that's what I'm doing every single day. And I'm, I'm trying my best, and hopefully it'll pay off one day. I, I mean, it kind of has. I've built up an audience. It's a passionate base. And I've forged some cool online friendships. I've had some amazing opportunities, such as Screen Rants, such as working with the Property Brothers on a show for Guru Hub, which was called Working Title. I've had some amazing guests on this show before. So it's not all for nothing. You know, I can look back and say, that's pretty bad, that's pretty cringy. But you know what? You tried. You tried. I still am. So once again, the big announcement, Movie Feuds is back after a long hiatus. We're coming back strong every Friday, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you want to see. I'm going to try to stick with just one versus one to start. Uh, it's just so much work to update all these titles and, and cards and do all this, you know, all this fancy stuff I like to do. So one versus one we're going to start with right now. What does that look like? You want a Joker versus, you know, whatever, Dark Knight. You want this versus that. Let me know in the comments and I will do my best to make it happen. Part of me thought it would be fun to kind of kick things off with the first episode of Movie Feuds Redone, which was Spider-Man versus X-Men. I don't know how much anybody gives a crap about that anymore, but I thought it would just be kind of fun for my own nostalgic sake to look back on that episode see what didn't work, which was essentially everything, and then just redo it the way I would do it now. But again, you let me know. I wanna thank you once more for supporting me over the years and watching. My second channel, Adam Olinger, is gonna continue. I'll have new rants and things like that over there. It's more randomized. It's more just silly and off the wall. I am on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Adam Olinger. You can find me on TikTok at Adam Does Movies. I'm gonna be cutting up some of my segments and putting them up there to get more, you know, just get more marketing out there to, to drive people to YouTube. I might have exclusive stuff there as well. And just kind of repurposing older things that I thought were funny to put up there in, in 30 to 60 second bursts. All right, that's it, that's the news. I'm very excited for the rest of the year and going into 2022. And lastly, make sure to check out that Spider-Man final real rivalry. Leave a comment if you want, a little pour one out for Adam on Screen Rant. It's a great video, I really liked it. It was. It was the ultimate Spider-Man live action. Toby versus Andrew versus Tom. Um, good stuff. Anyway, I'm excited to be back. I'll see you real soon.